All right, so y'all go ahead and do the factoring and the math knowledge question for today. Pause the video, and then once everyone is finished, you can unpause the video, and I'll go over the correct answers. So for the factoring, you should have x plus 7 times x minus 5. For the math knowledge question, we want to know what the probability is that a student had earned an A on the book report. So we have 24 total students. 8 students earned an A. So 8 out of 24 is 1 third. So that would be your answer. Okay, so we are looking at lesson 20 today. We're going to look at two special triangles. You should be familiar with these already. The 45, 45, 90 triangle and the 30, 60, 90 triangle. Um, if y'all need to pause the video and go over this real, um, to write them down, you can. But for a 45, 45, 90, your side lengths are 1, 1 squared to 2. For a 30, 60, 90, 1 squared to 3 and 2. The 30 degrees and the square to 3 are adjacent to each other. Okay? So if you don't remember those from previous years, you do need to learn them. So we're going to draw our reference triangle and evaluate the tangent of 30. So we're going to draw the 30, 60, 90 triangle. And so this is our 30 degrees. This is our 60 degrees. And this is 1 square root of 3 and 2. And then tangent is opposite over adjacent. So opposite is 1 and adjacent is square root of 3. And then if you put it rationalized, you would multiply by the square root of 3 in your numerator and your denominator, and so that should give you the square root of 3 over 3. So that would be your answer for tangent of 30. Okay, we're going to look at another one, draw the reference triangle, and evaluate. So we're going to have a 45 degree angle, and another 45 degree angle, and then 1, 1, and square root of 2. So 7 and then the sine of 45. The sine is opposite over hypotenuse. So opposite is 1 and hypotenuse is square root of 2. So that would be 7 over square root of 2. Which again, if you rationalize it, which you should, we don't want radicals in our denominator, you get 7 square root of 2 over 2. And so that would be your answer. Okay, we're going to look at another one. We want to find the cosine of 60. So I'm going to draw my 30, 60, 90 triangle again. So we have 1 square root of 3 and 2. And then we have 4 square root of 3 times the cosine of 60. So cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse. So adjacent is 1 and your hypotenuse is 2. So 1 over 2. So that's 4 square roots of 3 over 2, which is 2 square roots of 3. So that would be your answer for that one. Um, if you give me decimals on these, I am going to mark it wrong. They have to be in radical forms, not decimals. So make sure that you're not putting these into your calculator and getting a decimal answer, because that's going to get marked wrong every single time. Even if you're putting the correct decimal number that 2 squared of 3 is, if you give it to me as a decimal, I'm not even going to look at your work. I'm just going to say wrong. Okay? So now let's do this last one, tangent of 45. So we have a 45 degree, a 45 degree, and then 1, 1, and square root of 2. And so tangent is opposite over adjacent, so 1 over 1. So tangent of 45 is just going to be 1. And so we have 10 over square root of 5, which we have to rationalize. So multiply by square root of 5 over square root of 5. So I get 10 square roots of 5 over 5. 10 over 5 reduces to 2, so I have 2 square roots of 5. And so that's my answer for that one. So hopefully you remember dealing with those triangles. Um, hopefully as you practice these, you won't actually have to draw the reference triangles out. That's the goal. Um, so if you need them, draw them, but eventually you're going to have to get to where you know them in your head. So start trying to work to get to where you can do these without drawing the triangles out. Look at them in your head, think about them, but don't actually have to write them out on paper. 
your homework, you do get to omit number 12, 13, and 26. So make sure to do the other questions tonight so we can go over any questions you have tomorrow.